favorite food? This was actually the most question that I was looking forward to the answer of. Biggest eating challenge that you've ever faced? Was there one where you were like, I should not have done this? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever visualize a day where this would be something you do for a living? At the time I had nothing. It was just a job and that was my only income. I'm very stubborn. So when someone tells me don't, you I do. don't do it. Do. When I started, everyone cursed me. No one liked me when I, when I first started. Oh, you're disgusting. Why do you eat like that? Uh, you do this, you do that. It was cursing up and down. I was like, really? Cool. Let's put a little more sauce on that. I love that. <laughs> I had a couple of people that um, doubted me. Mm. And they're like, you know, they laughed in my face. They're like, you're not going to be anyone. I was like, all right, cool. You're laughing now. Yeah. The overindulgence and how, how can you do that when there are people who are starving? Life before or life today? <laughs> like my questions. Uh, it, it, that's a really hard question. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to a new episode of the Mo Show podcast. I'm a fan of the person sitting in front of me here today. Sis, a bodybuilder, professional, competitive eater. Makes me hungry every time I watch his content. <laughs> Business owner, mashallah. Down to earth, lovely human being. With over 3 million followers on Instagram and a YouTube page, and a YouTube page that has generated over, I don't know if he knows this or not, 1.6 billion views. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Sehs has carved out a niche for himself in base, in the content creation space in Saudi Arabia. Um, thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it, brother. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Relax. Uh, the, the, the couple of days that I got to meet you, uh, love your personality. I mean, and I'm, uh, I'm honored to be on the li show. Likewise, likewise. When, or let's say, was it ever part of your plan to want to become a competitive eater? Or I don't know how you want to label it, but being someone who is known for eating and, 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 and how you do it so impressively. Did you ever visualize a day where this would be something you do for a living? Never, never, to be honest. Uh, when I returned from, uh, from the U.S., when I returned from the U.S., I, uh, I was kind of in a culture shock. So I, I, I was either home, gym, work, and I, I did nothing else. And all I did was watch YouTube. And then I got to a point where I was uh, dieting to a point where I was really hungry. So I'd come the last day of the week, which was Saturday for me, and I'd go get food. I'm, I, I love food. I w it wasn't competitive. It was just like me counting calories, and I have this many calories to finish off, so I'll eat it on Saturday. I started uh, getting to know restaurants, started eating more, and I realized that I had a talent that not a lot of people had. And then I watched YouTube, and I watched uh, a lot of competitive eaters from, from the U.S. and Canada and, and Britain, and started taking tactics from them and try, trying them on myself. And then I realized I can eat a lot, a lot more than what I could, like I knew I could. Uh, afterwards, uh, I started off, basically I was in the gym and there was a couple of guys that had a channel and they heard about my cheat meals on Saturday. And they were like, why don't you come as a guest uh, one day on our channel? I was like, sure, why not? And the first day uh, they had a challenge where it was two 10 patty burgers and some fries. And I was challenging them. It was, a, it was an easy challenge for me. I won. People loved me on the channel. And they kept asking for me to come back once, twice, three times. So I kept coming on as a guest. And then I realized that you can actually make some money off it. Everyone wants to make money. So I was like, as a part-time job, let me do this. I didn't want to get well-known or anything like that. I just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. Uh, at the time, I had nothing. It was just a job. And that was my only income. Uh, so I started YouTube and, uh, I started looking for ideas. I started learning how to edit, how to film, do everything. I didn't know anything beforehand. No one helped me. I did everything by myself. It's a new world for you that you were entering. Completely. Yeah. I was trying to be myself. <laughs> I came from America, so my, my, my Arabic wasn't very good. I'd make mistakes in my Arabic all the time and people would laugh at it. And it was funny. It was cool. It was just me. And the subhanAllah, I just boomed from there. My first couple of videos, it was, it was, I had some good views, 10,000, 20,000. And then the guys that I, I was with them on the channel, 
they they said that I opened a new channel. They told their their followers. So all the people that used to love me on their channel came directly to my channel. So it was cool. That's where it started. And you're talking how long ago? When did you start the YouTube page? Five to six years ago. That's it. That's it. I don't think there's a better way of learning than actually applying yourself yes. into this skill. And you taught yourself on, on the job, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I taught myself how to film. I taught myself how to edit. Even, even oh, you were doing the editing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Until the last, I think, two, two and a half years. I, now I have a, an editor and a filmographer and all that. Mm -hmm. But before, I did everything myself. Wow. It was hectic. So pretty much it found you, this thing that is now your... Your bread and butter. Yes, yes. Very interesting. Um, <clears throat> biggest eating challenge that you've ever faced. Was there one where you were like, I should not have done this? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, a lot. Um, can, I, can I take a guess on ones that I feel are at the top of the list? Yes. Burger in Dubai. No. No. Uh, the full goat at Hina, the place. No. Oh, that was good. The one with the honey? Yeah. No. But that, a whole, no one just eats a whole goat. There's that, a lot of people that can do it. In the old days, a lot of people did it. People find it hard, but uh, if you have a good appetite, if you eat proteins like meat or chicken, it's easier. But if there's a lot of carbs in the idea, it's harder. That fills you up. Yeah. Carbs hold a lot more water, so when you eat, drink water, it just expands in your stomach. Okay. But if it's just proteins, I can eat a lot more. Gotcha. Yeah, so... Then then it has to be Elbek. Nah. Done guessing. No. I'm, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> go, go ahead. To be honest, the first one where it, it just caught me off guard was I tried every Ramadan, I do um, family bakeries, and I, and I try to help them out. So I get different types of family bakeries, and I, I film it. The first time I did it, uh, the bakeries wanted to send stuff for sex. So they sent big quantities. Mm. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm, I want to help them out. So I put everything on the table. And then I looked at it. I was like, this is a lot of food. I, I don't think I can finish this. This is the first time I looked at the food. And I was like, I can't finish it. I was like, you know what? Let me just show everything. And throughout the video, we'll, we'll, we'll say this is halas, this is good. And we'll put it to the side. Started off the video. <laughs> that video took me eight hours to film. Eight hours. I got to a point where I was talking with the camera and I was like, should I eat this or tell him I'm going to take it to my mom or, or, you know, just give it as a present? To <laughs> <laughs> I just got to a point where I was talking to the camera because I had no editor or, or Sultan wasn't with me that day. Mm -hmm. So uh, I ended up finishing most of the food and then I just had two cakes left and, and my stomach was at its max. And I was just sitting there for half an hour. If you look back on the editing video, it, it was hilarious I, when I was editing it. Looking at the cakes for half an hour, I'm like, should I eat this? Debating. No? <laughs> Can I eat this? Let me take one bite. And I was like, <laughs> so that was one of the hardest challenges I, I did. Like I literally finished and just went on the couch and fell asleep till the next day. Is anything to do with sweet being more challenging than savory to, to put into your system? Uh, usually, if someone eats a lot of sweets, yeah, uh, it, it's going to be hard. But when I use my, 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 my methods, the intermittent fasting, I usually, before a challenge where it's sweets, I, I do longer hours where your insulin drops. So even if you do eat sweets, it doesn't, bo it doesn't, like, it, it doesn't boom up really yeah. quick. It yeah. takes time. So it doesn't affect me as much. So is that what you did before you had 60 Krispy Kreme donuts? Yes. Was it 60? You, wanted to, you want me to tell you something? I do. <laughs> the 60 Krispy Kreme was uh, with Abdurrahman and Amir. Yes. Uh, before the 60 donuts, we had a lamb. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> I was a guest on their channel where we ate the, 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 the sheep on the beach. Mm. We finished that, took a break for a little, went home. And, and that was your dessert. That was our dessert. That just makes the story even crazier. Yeah. It was the last video I watched a few hours ago before you came. Okay. I just wanted to refreshify my memory on that. I wanted to see how many donuts they were. Yeah. I counted five boxes times 12 dozen. I want to do it by myself next time. The problem is when I'm on my second donut, I don't get that taste anymore. Like, you know, it's the first one is where the taste is at. Exactly. How, how do you... It, the first 10 minutes are enjoyable. Then it's like pure just, I got to get through this. 
depending on the, that's why I like when when I do a challenge where there's a variety, sweet, salty, sour, and all that stuff. That way you can change up and and continue. But when it's just one food, mm. like the chicken nuggets, or just the, the, the <laughs> you get to a point where you're just sitting there, you're like, oh god, when is this gonna finish? <laughs> and every time you eat albek, it's so funny because you said. Uh, you know when you get to that stage in Elbeck where you say I'm never going to have it again Yes. every time without fail when I have it once a month every two months I get to that like I I, I actually genuinely believe myself I'm never having Elbeck again and then you go back next month I, I have it yeah willingly at the branch where it tastes even better okay cool <laughs> um, <laughs> um, any worries or has anyone ever said Sess we're worried about your health um do you have a response for that or do you, where, where does that play in like long-term Hassan's health? Usually when people ask me, I'm, I'm a very healthy person. I'm, you are. I eat once a week. The, my, my cheat meals is once a week. The rest of the week I'm dieting, I'm eating healthy. Uh, uh, in the beginning, now I eat a lot more than before, but in the beginning I used to tell anyone like, if you come, to, come up to me and, and bring all the food that you eat during a week, that's what I eat. It's not more. Interesting. So uh, I do checkups every three to six months. I'm perfectly fine. I'm healthier than most. So I'm, I'm keeping track. I'm not going blindly with this. Mm-hmm. So I'm good. Good, good. Alhamdulillah. Good yeah, to hear. Alhamdulillah. Um, favorite food? This was actually the most question that I was looking forward to the answer of. In the beginning, it was very easy. You'd go pizza or burger or donut. Now when you try so much food... Yeah. It's hard. I can't have a favorite. Like, you can tell me maybe maybe a favorite in each cuisine I can mm-hmm. answer. But it's like, if you tell me a favorite, I don't have a favorite food anymore. Is there anything that you don't eat? Uh, shrimps, crustaceans. Uh, shrimp? I, yeah, I have an allergy. But I've seen you. I, nah, I eat shrimp nation. Yeah, I eat the fish, the fish sticks. I can't eat shrimps. So if you have it by mistake, you just... I like, swell up, my throat clogs up. Uh, I have to go to the hospital shoot. right away. Yeah, it's, it's happened to me before. So and that's the only thing that you don't Yeah, eat. I can't eat that. Are you... Because you said that you've been to Malaysia and the Far East, and over there they, they, they explore very much with their foods. Would you go as far as frog legs, snakes? Uh, I, the, for me, uh, there's a concept in my life. I'd try everything once. Okay. I like if that. I like it, I'll continue. If I don't, I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there is no favorite. If I was to say one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Saba? Mm, very hard. Very hard. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's like no, like in the beginnings. Wise, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something. Let me tell you. Uh, in the beginning, when I had my cheat meal on Saturday, it was very restricted. Like it's not like now. Like the whole day I'm eating. It was just during one hour I would eat everything in front of me, and that's it. So I had a couple of things where I'd, I'd eat. It was pizza, burger, Chinese food, ice cream, and donuts sometimes. Those four items had to be on the table. So, yeah. That, and that would be your every Saturday cheat meal? Yeah, for, for, for months on end, before I started YouTube. It was pizza, Chinese food, burger, and donut, and ice cream. Is it common with people who are in your area of uh, work, let's say, common for them to, to have such a diverse appetite on cheat day, do you know? Not really. You, you most, most people would choose one thing and, and, and just devour it. It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like I'm, I'm feeling for a burger today, I'll have three or four and that's it. Yeah. Maybe they'll have a dessert afterwards. Mm. But for me, it's like, it, my diet is very, very hard, especially when you go zero carb and you're training fasted and you come to Saturday, you're like, I want to get everything. Everything. Yeah. And you're super disciplined during those six days where... You're in the gym every day. Yes. With that bald, meat-headed trainer of yours. Yes. It scares me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look like a very nice guy next to him. You know the story behind him. I don't know anything. Uh, it's funny. When I came back from America, I used to go to the gym down in Liga Medina, and I'd go there and work out because I had nothing in life. I, I did nothing exactly. It was just work, gym, and then home, and it was nothing. So I'd go and work out for three, three and a half hours every day. And he'd look at me every day for, for a couple of months. And then just one day he was like, listen, I dare you to take a workout with me. I was like, let's go. So we did shoulders. Mm-hmm. We literally like he would every time I'd, I'd increase the weight, he'd increase it. Every time he'd increase it, I'd increase it. So we were challenging each other. After three hours, we walked out of the gym and our shoulders were numb and we couldn't walk. And we looked at each other. We're like, you know what? 
we should work out together. So it wasn't it wasn't a training it was just a training partner mm. so, and we just continued just fell in it fell in place yeah and we developed a, a friendship and we've been together now for 11 12 years and he's your trainer today or you just work out together we work out together he's not my trainer wow. sometimes he'll be like you make up the workout sometimes I'll make a he'll make up the workout mm. and we just train if I feel lazy one day he'll pick me up he feels lazy I'll pick him up how important is it to have a partner in the gym uh, to be honest for me um, it's made a difference. When I lift weights, like uh, how much weight I lift. But as far as going to the gym, no one needs to convince me. You're there. I'm going. Without fail. No way. Discipline. Yeah. That's where it's won and lost in life, by the way. How disciplined are you? It's an area I'm really trying to work because I know that if I'm disciplined in something, everything else will come easy. You have to, in, you have to enjoy it and, and actually like think about it in a way where it's not like compulsory that you have to do it like the gym for me is my time it's my my free time it's like a doctor for me so i go i zoom out and i do my workout and i, I get out of the gym feeling refreshed happy place yes very happy place. i don't think anyone's ever left the gym in a worse mood than when they went in mm. you know for except those people that hold their phones constantly they must drive me up the wall <laughs> up the wall <clears throat> 1.6 billion views on youtube 3 million instagram mashallah onwards and upwards being recognized wherever you go not just saudi we know that uh, did you ever imagine all of this do you ever pinch yourself wake up one day or like this is actually my life now i still get surprised sometimes like when i go to certain countries and i see people and they know me and it's like how do you know me oh, i see you on tiktok i see you on instagram i see this so it's 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 refreshing it's it's cool it's it's tiring it's it's a lot of a lot of feelings put together, but at the same time, like you said, your role model. Um, I had that idea from the beginning. I'm the type of person where someone, when they see me, I'll stand with them and talk to them for an hour or two. It doesn't matter to me because I, I always had that same feeling. Like if I went to someone that I, I I admire and he put me down, it would be a very bad feeling. So shatters you. But uh, the feeling. Never stops. Every time I visit a new country and I, I realize that people know me there, I'm really happy. Yeah. Uh, I remember the video, I think it was in Amman, in Jordan. That's when I realized that uh, Hussein is not just Saudi or GCC. Uh, you were walking and there were just hundreds of people following you like, like you were some... Astaghfirullah, it's going yeah, to be yeah. a prophet. <laughs> uh, you know, like everyone's like, your fans were with you. I'm like, Hassan is a is big deal. one of my biggest countries to, that, that, that like me. And, and, and for, for some reason, I love them. Before I even went there, I love their food. Uh, yani, if we talk about Arabic food, Mansaf is one of my favorites. The best. It's one of my favorites, like, it, it, if not number one. It's like Mendi almost, right? Uh, it's almost like Salig and Mendi. Salig, yani. okay. But it, it's, 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 the meat is, is, is awesome. The rice is... is the rice is not very special, but it's when you put the jameed on, everything changes. For when I went there, we were trying to do an event where we want to make the biggest mansaf plate. And we didn't have, we had to get license and all that stuff. And we talked to people and people talked to people. And we made the announcement the night before. So we didn't have a lot of time. We made the announcement the night before. We woke up, we were like, nah, no one's going to be there. We walk into the place and there's... At least 5,000 people. My God. And it was crazy. They were pulling on me and grabbing on me, and I just threw myself in there. I was like, do whatever <laughs> yeah, you want. Yeah. <laughs> You're a man of the people. I'm sure, I'm sure you went into it not expecting that at all. No, yeah. definitely not. And, and the, the, the cool thing, the, the people there are, are, how do I say it uh, in English? Um, now I'm starting to lose words in English. Uh, the Nishama, like they're, they're really like men. Like they're, they're very inviting. They're very cool. They, when they like someone, we're not going to leave you. You're going to eat with us. We're going to do this for you. I, I did nothing in, in Jordan. Like even, even the people that took me in there, we had to get a haircut. They brought the, 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 the barber into the restaurant to give no us the way. haircut. So no way. They're, they're down to earth. When they love you, they love you. So it, they, they, I love Jordan. I didn't know that about uh, Jordan. I no, didn't know no. about them on being on that, that, that level. No, if they, if they like someone, they're, they're awesome. They're, they're great fans. Yeah. They waited down in the hotel. Like you wake up every day, you look down, you see people waiting for you downstairs. <laughs> Dude, it's surreal. Like it when is. you think about it. It like, is. Like you're a, you're, a, you're a pop star to what, what 
you know, people see pop stars out. You know, you see have hundreds and thousands of people outside the hotel. And yeah, sometimes you feel you feel that like you see people like going, dude, I'm not I'm not that big a deal. I just eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're so humble about it. I love it. Okay. Um relationship with Sultan. Mm. Uh he's pretty much in all of your videos. The chemistry is just on another level. Mm. Did you guys start working together and then the friendship came or was the friendship there before? There was no friendship. I didn't know him. And his story is, is funny because every day we learn something new. Uh, one of the interesting things is my dad was actually friends with his dad. Oh, no way. And we didn't know that. Okay. Uh, he was, his brother was friends with my cousin. So one day they came to Durra, to my coffee shop there. And uh, we basically sat down. He was, he, he stopped social media and I started social media. So they, they introduced us. He was like, what do you do? I do food and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you want to film with me? He's like, okay. So the next day I had filming. Uh, Sultan is Sultan. I woke up the next day. He was late. <laughs> we shot a 14-hour video. We 14 were, hours? Yeah. we went, Running time? We, yeah. We went around Didda. We, we filmed a couple of places. I challenged him. He challenged me. It was funny. It was fun. It was, it was great. And, and I believe that day I had my first 100,000 follower plaque from youtube okay. so we showed it off on the youtube and it just clicked that day it was it was fun we were we were clicking we were having everything was just good when the chemistry know, was know. awesome you yeah. Know, you know. Yeah. yeah yeah so i was like you want to come next week he's like yeah and then the next week i was like you want to come next week? he's like yeah and then it just became a routine for us and now he's expected on pretty much every bit of content you put out there yeah if he's not there you probably get asked where's sultan Yes. And the funny thing is, in the beginning, people didn't like him. People were, no, we don't want this. He, uh, he's, he's it's too rude. He's too loud. He's too this. We just want to see the food. And, and then with time, I was like, dude, guys, he's, he's my brother. He's going to be here. Accept it. Yeah. And now they accept him. Now they protect him. Now I they, love it. Yeah. yeah. He's it's awesome. Khafif. Like he's, you could easily just relate to him because he's like the average eater yeah. compared to you. Yeah. Uh, it's so funny, just the contrast between how little he eats compared to you. So it's good to have that, what a normal person would look like when they eat compared to you. Yeah. Uh, person. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of memories are coming to mind. Uh, yeah. um, are you having fun? If I was to ask you with everything that's going on, are you enjoying it? Uh, to be fully honest, it was more fun in the beginning. Hmm. Now, now, when you are expected of certain things in life, uh, you have to fulfill duties and, and, and salaries and payments and that. Uh, it becomes more of a job than just enjoying it. I do enjoy a lot of moments of it. Uh, I enjoy food. I enjoy the laughter and all the filming and stuff. But it gets to a point where you're just pressured every day. You, you're expected to do more. You're expected to eat more. You're expected to... It's always more and more and more. So it, it's a lot of pressure. So it's not as much as fun as before, but I'm still enjoying it. Yeah. It's taxing, I yes. can imagine. Yeah. You said that you haven't taken a, a holiday or a vacation in five years. That's not right. Five years. The last time I had a vacation, it was maybe for four days. And it wasn't really a vacation vacation. We, we did a little filming on it. So anytime I visit a new place... Even if it's for a vacation, I'll be like, you know what? It's worth filming. So let's do a little filming and then enjoy a couple of days. I think you're a workaholic. <laughs> I like to keep busy. Hmm. I'm, I'm used to it. When I used to live in America, I used to do everything. Uh, Jiu-jitsu, mixed martial arts, soccer, gym, all that. I, I have to keep busy. Yeah. I don't like sitting there and doing nothing. When you think of the word social media, how does your body react to it? Fake. It is, isn't it? Fake. For the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I told you, when I, when I first got into social media, I, um, I realized a lot of stuff really quick. Uh, there's some good people in it. I'm not saying everyone is. Um, but I got introduced to, to it really quickly because I boomed really quickly. I got introduced to it really quickly. And I realized maybe 90% of it is fake. Mm. And it, it really bothered me. That's why you don't see me filming with a lot of people. Uh, if I meet them, I meet them. If I don't meet them, I don't meet them. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't mix and match too much. It's me, Sultan, my filmographer, and a couple of friends that I know, and that's it. 
uh, it's hard. I don't like, uh, it's one of the things I don't like. I'm, I'm really against people being two-faced and fake and, and I'm, I'm cool off camera and I'm cool on ca- No. I've met people that are cool, but... The majority are two-faced on it. I had, I had uh, my first experience was, I don't want to get into it because I don't want to say too many names, but uh, I'm not going to say any names, actually. <laughs> say one. No. No, I'm <laughs> no names. <laughs> well, Mo Blog is... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had, I had, uh, one time I had a film, I was going to film something. Uh, let me throw people off a little. I was going to film something where it had a couple of social influencers that were going to film with me. And it was in my early days. I wasn't that big of a deal. And the person that introduced me was really down to earth. He was cool. He was, uh, he was telling them, dude, this guy's going to go somewhere. He's, he's awesome. Film with him. And he was, he was picking certain people that were strong in, in, in the social, social media area yeah. in the world. Um, eight out of ten of them canceled. They said yes in the beginning, and then, then we, we, when they heard about me and the name, they didn't know the name, they were like, nah. And then I filmed with just normal social influencers. It was cool. The video hit really well. It was awesome. Afterwards, all of the people that were supposed to be on the video asked to be on my videos and I never refused them over time over time and I wrote and I, I never refused them you don't hold anything inside no. grudges no no people are people whether you're cool whether you're not I'm gonna get the best out of it just like you are I think that's a big source of your happiness today that you don't uh, hold any grudges what's the point it's heavy what's the point mm. Unless you're really close to me. Like if I had an issue with Sultan, yeah. I wouldn't hold a grudge, but it would bother me. But uh, anyone else, like... Not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah. Life goes on. Very mature. Um, and, and just your future self will thank you for not holding a grudge, honestly. It's just not <laughs> worth it. It's not. <laughs> Um, we spoke about discipline. How do you stay motivated, though, like to to constantly challenge yourself, to put stuff out there, even on days where you it's just the last thing you want to do? Uh, obviously, monet, monetary benefits is is there, but at some point, it might not be enough. So, what keeps you going? A lot of things keep me going. Uh, like I said, when you grow up in life, you have a lot of responsibilities, so you have to do better to to keep on the game. Um, there are things that I don't like to talk about in social media, but um, uh, certain things happen during your life where you're just like, wow, like I've affected someone this much and, and you see the happiness in their face. You're like, screw everything else. I'm just going to keep going. I, I had um, this one kid that had, uh, I, I forgot what its name in, in English is, but he had this, this issue where he wouldn't eat in front of anyone. Not his parents, not his brothers. He was really young. Oh. Uh, he he just w- he can't. He'd lock himself in his room to eat, and he never ate outside. His father and his family were really affected. So this is one of the cases. I'm not going to talk about a lot of people, but this was one of the the secret cases where no one knows about. Um, so basically, his mother reached out to me, and it was at uh, a coincidence. I saw the message on Instagram, and I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll come visit and everything." Uh, the first minute I walked in, he had this Reese's in his hand because he knew I liked Reese's. He's like, I got you Reese's. I was like, I'm going to eat it if you eat it with me. So I sat down and he ate it in front of me and in front of his father and his mother. And his father teared up in front of me. And that moment alone just said, you know what? Keep going. It's everything. Exactly. It's really heartwarming. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I mean, those are the moments that really like, if I had... A hundred people curse me, and this guy did this. I'm gonna continue. See, I knew, I knew you were that kind of guy in real life. Uh, I just felt it. Alhamdulillah. Uh, speaking of, uh, that's such a beautiful story, Hassan. Yeah. Um, speaking of the the hundred people that bash you, or do you read comments? I read comments. You do I do? I don't know what the right, correct practice is 
whether you should or not as a content creator. Um, if it affects you, if you're, I don't want to say softy. If it's going to affect you, don't. Thin skin, don't. Don't. Yeah. Uh, if you're like me, sticks and stones, don't break my voice. Yeah, don't break my voice. Yeah, <laughs> you're worse than ever. Uh, when I started, I'm, I'm, I'm a very, um, how do you say it? Oh, why am I losing my English? Um, I need... God, it's a tough word. Persistent. Uh, stubborn. Uh, stubborn. Stubborn. Yes, exactly. I'm very stubborn. So when someone tells me don't, you I don't do. do it. Do. When I started, everyone cursed me. No one liked me. When, when I first started, oh, you're disgusting. Why do you eat like that? Uh, you did this, you did that. It was cursing up and down. I was like, really? Cool. Let's put a little more sauce on that. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even when I started my, my, cha- my YouTube channel, it was, it was, uh, I had a couple of people that um, doubted me. Mm. And they're like, you yeah. know. They laughed in my face. They were like, you're not going to be anyone. I was like, all right, cool. You're laughing now. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. I read a comment that I was like, oh, wow, that one. Uh, okay. The overindulgence and how, how can you do that when there are people who are starving? I have nothing to hide to people. Um, when you tell me this, I don't have to tell you that I, I do good for other people. I don't have to tell you. I'm doing it for myself. Whether you say people are starving, maybe I'm helping those people. You don't know that. Um, as far as food, if I'm not eating it, then you can say that to me. Yeah. But I'm basically people think I'm, I'm overeating. I'm not overeating. This is what I need to eat this week to maintain my level of weight and, and stuff. So I'll come at the end of the week, whether it's big, whether it's disgusting to you, whether it's whatever, I'm eating it. I'm not throwing it out. So how is it a waste? Yeah. It's not haram. It's not haram if you if you throw it out. Exactly. So if I'm eating it, yeah. don't talk to me. Everyone has an opinion, and, and I'm actually I'm I'm with people giving me their opinion. Bilax, sometimes I, I get opinions that I follow. Mm. Oh, you did this uh, the wrong way, or you should do this this way, or we have an idea for you. I'm trying to entertain people. Mm. My my, I'm okay. I'm a competitive eater, but in the end, I'm doing entertainment for people. So if this is not entertaining you, I'll change it up. Mm -hmm. I'll do something else. Was there ever that piece of shit person where you just felt, I'm going to have to respond to this? This was recent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is where you tell us everything. This is where I wanted to do a pay-per-view boxing match. And... (laughs) and (laughs) And uh, knock the crap out of him. <laughs> what did he say? A bunch of crap of crap. Uh, it just did it. It, it. it got to me. But I'm the type of person where it's like, all right, cool. And where are you at and where am I at? Did you write? Did you, yeah, for sure. Good one. Yeah. Did you write to him? No. Sultan wanted to. Mm-hmm. Sultan got mad. Uh, he, Sultan is soft skinned. Okay. He got really mad. He really wanted to, to, to talk back. And I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. You're going to give him more attention. Don't stoop. Don't stoop yeah. Down. And you're going to give him attention. So, I had, I had an, another story. I had in the beginning, I had this one Egyptian uh, social influencer. Uh, even though in Egypt, they love me. They're just like Jordan. They love me there. So it was funny. He, he, came, out, he came out at me. He had a channel. He came out at me and he, you cow, I challenge you and blah, blah, blah. You would curse and up and down. And I just didn't talk to him at all i left him i'd follow him and see what he's doing and how many times he cursed me and i just kept kept watching and in the end the 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 followers his followers started going at him and they kept going at him lost respect for him exactly they kept going at him and they told him that you're a cheater and we caught you before and this and blah 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 until he stopped filming Hmm. he stopped he stopped he stopped his channel. He tried to do something else and it just didn't work out for him. So let me get this straight. Your tiff or quarrel or fight with him ended his career. Almost, yeah. Not almost, yeah, it did. <laughs> Thank you. I was yeah, waiting for it that. Did. You're too nice. It did. It tells you a lot about him. But uh, this other guy now, he's, he's, he's... The guy that Sultan wanted to respond yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's moving up. He's, he's, he's doing good. Oh, he's a somebody. He's someone in the field who's... Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. he was a complete... No, no, he's doing good. I was an idol to him. Okay. And then he, when he started doing good, he wanted to come at me. And I don't want to give him that... Uh, Satisfaction. Yeah. yeah. But if it came down to it, 
food, wrestling, boxing. What do you want? You know, it's not. It's not UFC. It's, it's not, not boxing. It's so not. why are you pretending like it is? Like why do we have to lose respect for each other? It's one thing to it's challenge good. me in the in the in the field that we're doing, and it's another thing when you throw low blows and and and, and talk. Uh, I don't know if you can curse here. Talk out you of your. Of, ass. We, we beep it out. Uh, talk out of your ass. Yeah. Uh, it's he started saying stuff that just didn't make sense and it was like you do this you do that and 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 he didn't mention my name but you knew he was hitting at me yeah and i was like you know what screw it yeah not worth it at all <sighs> moving on yeah yeah they didn't deserve this <laughs> um <clears throat> before the world of social media what were you doing nine to five what was your day job my jobs jobs wow jobs yeah i graduated with a computer science major that's what you studied in canada and uh, no in uh u.s what, jersey was, was it canada? i lived in canada from grade one to seven okay came back to saudi for a year and a half two years then went to america to finish off my high school and college in jersey and jersey new jersey jersey yeah mm -hmm. and then i lived in california for two years i was going to finish my master's didn't work out came back mm -hmm. so i graduated computer science came back my first job was uh, in the headquarters of Panda. I worked in the IT for a little, then worked in sales, then worked in analytics. It was just jumping from place to place. Oh, uh, oh 05, oh 04, 05, 06? Almost. I around, lost track, man. Okay. 15, uh, 17 years ago. So. Yeah, yeah okay. I lost track. Yeah. And then after that, I, I opened up a coffee shop in Durra. It was doing great in the beginning. Uh, then I started working again. Uh, into our um, insurance company. Taiwanese? Yeah. No, no, sorry. I, I got, it got, mixed that, up. Yeah, I got yeah. it mixed up. I, I started working afterwards in KPMG uh, doing advisory. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was doing advisory for Taiwanese and they offered me a job. So I went to Taiwanese. So you have a bit of an accounting background. Yes. That really I'm good at math. That helps you with running your businesses. Yeah, yeah. I'm good at math. I was, a, I, was, I, was a, I was a smart kid. Nice. I was the one people cheated off. Front row? <laughs> <laughs> no, I sat in the back, but people came and sat next Everyone to me. Everyone wants to sit next yeah, to you, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, computer science is, is a sophisticated major, so I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm uh, sure. But I loved it. At the time, I was, I was a geek. I loved to program, and I'd sit there for hours and just program. So funny how, you know, the road or, or, or how careers can just change. In a million years, you would have never have thought that... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one thing that I always knew, uh, people have this personality where you can't, I don't want to see, say bossed, like I can work with a group, I can be, I can take orders, but as a lifetime, I, I can't, I, I realized something, I can't have a boss, hmm. I have to be the boss, I have to be driving this, the, the, the car all the time, so when I worked in, 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 in jobs, I was the only Saudi that had a fluent accent and, and wasn't really acting Saudi. So the, 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 the foreigners that were working and had great positions were scared of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Saudi knows English. Oh, the Saudi you were is correct. actually smart. Yep. So I had a hard time working under them. After a while, when I opened up my coffee shop, things were going good and then social media. And then I was like, you know what? Let me push this more. Mm -hmm. And when things started booming, I, I actually, my first 500,000 subscribers, I was not making one real from YouTube or advertisements or anything. I was you doing everything for free. You didn't fill out the YouTube? Uh... I filled it out, but at the time there was an issue with my account okay. where, not my bank account, my YouTube account, where I had a long time where I got my passcodes. So I, I didn't get monetization until okay. after 500,000. And uh, I was basically just putting money into it. I, there were months where I was going at zero in my balance. Like I had to buy new equipment Ouch. or I had to pay. Uh, I was paying for my, my food and everything. So everything was not for free. So I'd, I'd uh, get to half the month and I had zero in my pocket. Shit. Yeah. And then after 500,000, alhamdulillah, YouTube started. Working. Enough to say, okay, I'm going to do this uh, full time? Uh, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't quit all my jobs right away. You didn't? No, no. When no. did you? I think it was around seven hundred thousand. Around seven hundred thousand. Around seven hundred, eight hundred thousand. I started when I first got my second or third paycheck from YouTube, and then I started getting ads from from Saudi companies. Mm -hmm. This is where I was like, you know what? I can't keep up. No. It was coffee shop, job, and YouTube. So it was like too much. 
life before or life today? <laughs> like my questions. <laughs> That's a really hard question. Each of them has their own benefits and, and ups and downs. Like I was more relaxed before. I, I was more outgoing. Now you have to be cautious. I'm, I'm still myself, but I'm more cautious because you're an example for a lot of people. Um, Someone cuts you off on the street, you can't lose your shit on him. Exactly. Like... Uh, I mean, if someone... 10 years ago, you could... 10 years ago, I would have gotten out of... Go, <laughs> <laughs> um, You're an example. Exactly. Yeah. And, 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 and you don't have a, a private life anymore now. That, that's a big issue also. Uh, visit other countries. You go out. Uh, people are looking at you. What is he doing? When is he going to eat? When is he going to do this? So it's... Uh, comfy before comfortable and and i can like uh, how do i say it comfy on both sides i said comfy financially today it's rewarding it's rewarding but i see what you mean by comfy before as well. yeah i mean before I, i'd walk around and and, and I, I wouldn't look around you know i'm just walking no one's keeping tabs on you exactly now when i'm uh, anywhere i'm looking around a gym you don't want to you want uh, people already get this persona about me because i'm this monster they think I'm, I'm tough. They think I'm, I'm, you know, they can't approach me. So I'm always keeping my eye up. When people look at me, I'm smiling. So they don't think I'm, I'm, a, I'm this crazy guy. <laughs> and, and, and when people meet me, they realize I'm not. I'm actually a kind, normal person. And they think that I'm mean and everything. No, I'm cool. Do the eyeballs bother you? No, I got used to it. I got used to it. It's not the eyeballs. It's when you're walking down the mall and it's like, you're walking, it's like, Says, says. <laughs> they come up to you like that? No, they're walking by me and you just hear them whispering, says, 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 to, says, to, says. to each other. No, it's him, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's the funny part. You probably missed the masks of Corona where people probably didn't recognize who you were. Did they recognize me anyway? They recognize you with that? At last, it's last, your arms, man. <laughs> <laughs> a week ago, I was in Egypt and I was in a car and I'm wearing a cap and I'm like, literally, when I'm sitting in the car, I'm like this. Like, you can't tell if it's me. And, and we're just driving, and people are waving. They're seeing me. I'm like, dude, how do you know? They don't miss a beat there. No, yeah. no, no. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I had this one guy run across the street and stop all the cars and took a picture with me in the car. I'm like, dude, how did you pick me <laughs> up? Did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're amazing. It's yeah. like some Superman vision. It's nuts. You recently opened Ses, the restaurant. Yes. Um, I, I mean... I could imagine it's something that you always wanted to do. You said you had a coffee shop, but never a restaurant. Yes. Uh, what made you land on burgers being the cuisine that you want to get into? It was one of my favorite foods, and it's the most food that I'm known with. People, when they say sex, they say burgers, right. meat, uh, you know, and uh, it's something. It, the restaurant is not, it's not based on burgers, to be honest. It's, I ordered that. It All started, it started, it's starting as burgers. So it's not what it was when it opened six months ago? No, it was burgers. And, and the menu is, uh, what I want Cess to be is a restaurant for the people. Head. So every now and then, uh, every two months, we're going to introduce a new item. Okay. And it's not always going to be burgers. And we introduce a menu, uh, the item in the menu. We're going to see people what they like about it, what they don't. And then we reorganize the menu. So it's going to keep changing. It's not going to stay. what's popular. Exactly. You. There are certain items that people love now that we can't change. Interesting. But uh, I'm never going to have the, the same menu. Like a, a while ago, we had Parmesan chicken, Italian style. No way. Yeah. People didn't, uh, they enjoyed it, but it wasn't booming like the other items. So I had to take it out. Yeah. You definitely got that from Jersey. Yeah. Jersey. Italiano. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, does it take a lot of your time? Are you there? How many days a week? Um, well, Sultan, um, even though he films with me, he is now my business partner. He's my brother. He's with me in all my companies. So he's the operation end. I'm mostly food, menu, taste, 
marketing. This is me. So whenever I'm there, I'm, I'm tasting. I'm trying, making sure the items are good. Uh, if the, I get comments from the customers, I'll go and try it a couple of times until I get it perfect. So I'm, I'm there almost every week or two. More challenging than you thought it would be? Yes. Very challenging. Yes. I actually, I, I, this is my second restaurant. What was the first? The first one I had a partner. And this partner turned out to be uh, conniving. Shit. Yeah, he wanted to steal my name no as way. a brand. He tried to put me in a hole. And, and, and we had some exciting items there. There were crazy items that I had, uh, I made up. I had a mango burger that was booming out of the world. But he kept putting up prices on me. And the items were too expensive. This is this is an issue I've had. And now with the new restaurant, people think the prices are the same. They're not. So uh, 35 a burger, right? 40? That's for the Wagyu Faham. But uh, we have a new burger that we call Upside Down Burger. Yes. Uh, 24, 24 for a double. Yeah. So, so way way under what these speciality not speciality burgers, but these gourmet burgers are exactly, charging. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I got out of that partnership and I opened up this restaurant, which was mine completely. You've seen it all. I mean, you've seen it all. Like with this person trying to screw you over. Like you've been getting it from from all angles. I'm so happy that Alhamdulillah, you're in a situation now where you have someone who's your brother who you trust and exactly. have to deal with that shit anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, you said California, and you did two years there. Favorite burger in the world? Is it is it the one over there? Uh, no, it's not. It's overplayed, man. It's mine. I love it. It's good. It's amazing. If I see it, I'm eating it. But it's not my favorite burger. What's your favorite? In the world? Yeah, I mean, there's one. I, there, look, you're probably thinking now four, five, six burgers. But is, is there one that right now, the one that's on the top of your head? There was this one burger I ate. And you're going to hate me for this. I forgot the name of the restaurant. It was in California, actually. And this restaurant was really fancy. Okay. It had truffle fries and parmesan. I don't like fancy burgers. I'm I'm the type of guy that goes to Five Guys and Fabber. I like the meat and yeah, the juice with and you. in and out and all those things. Yeah. But this Maybe that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Of course you do. <laughs> Animal style. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. Uh, this one they talk about LA? Yeah. It was in uh, I believe upstate and it was it was more it was weird. We were visiting this mall, and we just stopped randomly at this place. I didn't check it out or anything. Okay. And it was steaks and pastas and that. And they just had this one burger on the menu. And at the time, I just didn't want to eat anything. I was like, burger. Yeah. Screw it. And this burger was this thick, juicy. The bun was, it was not a gourmet. It was, it was a soft potato bun. And it was, I ate that burger, and I was like, Wow. That's a good burger. And if I wanted to go back to that place, I wouldn't know how to go back. Oh, my God. That <laughs> sucks. No, you have to. You have I to know. Backtrack I know. California. I know. It, it was close to a mall. I have to get the name of the mall. If I saw the mall, I'd know it. But uh, Not in the L.A. area. You're, no, no, no. San Jose, up north, Santa Barbara. Uh, more upwards. San Francisco? No, no, no. No, not that high. Okay, I need to. We need to. We're gonna send Google Maps. Out. We're gonna track this burger down. <laughs> but otherwise, Damn, I, I thought In and Out to be one of your favorites. I don't like places that are outplayed. You know, like they give it. It's good. I'm telling you, if I go to California, I'm eating In and Out. I'm gonna eat it. But it's not it's as mass, good as mass. people. Like when people say it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. People think it's it's amazing. It's, it's not. Sucks. It's not that. It's not that good. One of the things that I love about it is that when I have my two double doubles, that's where I stop. Yeah, <laughs> I don't feel like you're not I have, full. You're not full. You're not full. You can breathe. You can continue the rest of your day. Yeah, but th- that sometimes I'd have one burger and I feel ten times more full than what In and Out is. I think because it's I mean, fresh. Something close to it now here is salt. 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 Have you tried it? I've tried it in Dubai. It's good. What kind of role does your mother and father play in your life today, or Obviously, they, they play a role, but let's say, how would you describe your father? Let's start with him. Who appears in your content? I'm, how do I say it? Um, I'm an only child. You're an only child? Yeah. Uh, my mom and dad, they come first for everything. They're everything to me. So uh, they never were against me with anything. They, 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 they're scared for me. Don't eat this much. It's too much sugar. It's too, relax because they've seen me. Like I, there's days where I film from from eight a.m. till like three a.m. in the morning, and I'm beat. I'm my stomach is 
full and I can't even drink a sip of water. I'm thirsty and I can't drink. Uh, but they've always supported me. They've always been behind me. They've never, even when I fall, they're with me. So my family is everything. How's he doing now? I know he's recovering. Yeah, alhamdulillah. He's, he's, he he's having a, a hard time eating, but alhamdulillah, he's, he's doing a lot better. He's home? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Um, let's take a step back okay. and... No, we actually we covered that upbringing and um, I'm going to enjoy listening to your answer in this because I don't know which way you're going to go. Okay. So you do two things. You eat and you work out. Okay. How do you manage stress? The gym. That's your go-to, huh? The gym. After the shitty, like a really bad day and you really just want to de-stress. Would you wish that it was cheat day or not? It's, 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 food always makes you happy. I don't care what you say. Like people ask me the question where it's like, when are you going to finish? When are you going to stop? So my answer, I'm, I'm pretty sure you got that question down. When are you going to like get bored? I'm like, seriously, dude, do you wake up ever not thinking about food? So as long as there's food and there's new items coming out, I don't have to stop. So food is... Is an unhealthy way to, to take away stress. Uh, the healthy way would be the gym for me. But you play, you balance it out very well. It's 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 not as easy as you think, or people see. It's it's really hard because I have to push myself in the gym really hard and in my diet to maintain the level I'm in, body wise and 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 health wise to do these these crazy things that I'm doing. Otherwise, I would just lose it. I'd puff up and 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 really get fat i mean when i had an issue with my bicep where i had an operation so i couldn't uh, i couldn't work out for about seven months eight months at that time it was just cardio i wasn't pushing at the gym i got fat i got really fat at the time how long ago was it, it was at five hundred thousand. okay yeah early days -ish. it was when i did the sheep i had my hand yeah i remember that i, remember I ate that. with one hand yeah I remember you know the that. story behind that no Sultan just just uh, just started with me a couple of weeks before or a couple of months, and uh, basically the eyes were on me. I started booming, and people were looking at me and other social influencers, and they're like, "Dude, this guy is growing, and be careful of him." And then when I got hurt, uh, I heard it, like, "Oh, alhamdulillah, he's gonna relax now. He's not gonna continue." And I called Sultan. I was like, "Listen, we're at five hundred. Get me a sheep." <laughs> He's like, what? Your hand. You just did an operation. I was like, get me, get me a sheep. sheep. <laughs> He's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. And we did the challenge to, to shut people up. So there are people out there that, is that what the industry is like? Like, yeah. they, they, like he's injured. It's yeah. like, not injured. They just don't want to see you do well. Better than them. There's competition, but there's also like. They don't want to see you better than them. But the, the, the funny thing is. I'm sorry, if I have a best friend, he's my best friend. He likes me. He's not going to like you more. Yeah. Uh, even if he does, he still has that space in, you know, for me. So if you have followers and I have followers and people love me and people love you, it's not going to change anything. Mm -hmm. If they like your content, they're going to follow you. If they like my content, they're going to follow me. It's not going to make a big difference. Yeah. It's how you impact their life is, is how it's going to make a difference. It's not either or. Exactly. And there is... En enough to go around and you know this is the attitude of me me and not he i mean if sultan follows you and follows me what's what, what's it gonna do what? Not, we can all be friends <laughs> exactly it's, it's not gonna make a difference maybe the way he likes me is is more impactful like in the industry like if i oh i love this coffee he's gonna try it because he loves what i say and he trusts me maybe he doesn't trust you but he's still following you yeah, yeah. Oh. it's petty yeah it's petty Children, how many? One. What, uh, what have you learned from fatherhood? You put aside all your, uh, all your wants and needs and you concentrate on something else. You want to make sure he has a good future. You're, you feel like you've become a true adult, to be honest. I mean, I've been an adult for a long time, but once you have that kid, it's like, oof. You feel like you got responsibilities, mm. and you're not worried about making 
money for yourself as much as for his future. So you get more responsible. Everything falls into perspective and you really get to see what's important in life. Yes. And uh, and it's really, like, I, it's, I, it's not my place to say, but someone once asked me what's something that everyone should go through. Uh, and for me, I just love the sensation of fatherhood. And I was like, I think every man should taste fatherhood because it's those who are fit to become fathers. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. It's crazy. I mean, you don't you don't feel it until you 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 actually you interact with him for the first time. Uh, my 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 son was actually born a little early, so he was in intensive care for a while. And when I visited him, the first day I visited, him, I just put my hand on him, and his eyes are closed, and he's not. And when he holds your finger the first time, you're like, oh. it's over. Yeah, the feeling is yeah. it's out of there. It's done. Nothing can amount to that. Nothing. Yeah. It was it was crazy. And and Baba is the sweetest word to our ears. Yes, it's like I actually did something positive in this in this world. You know, <laughs> it touches your soft spot. Yeah. Uh, any fears? You said you haven't been skydiving, and you might be going in a week. Yes. Uh, <laughs> have you not been because of fear? No, I'm. I'm I get the sensation of fear, but I'm a very adventurous person, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't get scared easily. I don't. I, I like I told you, I try anything once. I've I've done bungee jumping off bridges. I've done a lot of things, but I've just it just hasn't come across. You know, it wasn't. It, it, I I wasn't going to it, but it's. I've always wanted to try it. I think bungee is more dangerous than really? skydiving. I don't have a bridge into water. Are you cool? Maybe, maybe the, the, the water, yeah. But but the element of uh, the thing, like I've, I've, I've seen situations where it's wrapped around. Do not yeah. tell me anything right now until That's, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if you've gotten punched in the face and kicked in, I've done mar- mixed martial arts. Uh, what else are you going to be scared of? I think it's important uh, to get kids involved in mixed martial arts from a younger age. You need to know how to do My dad yourself. did that. My yeah, dad actually did that. When I lived in Canada, I was in, I think, grade two or three. Mm-hmm. He put me in karate. It taught me a lot of things. It, it, they, they put you in your place. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to know how to defend yourself if you have to. Uh, to be honest, as, uh, it's not as much as defending yourself as much as the discipline, discipline they give you at the time. When you're young, you're, you're everywhere. They, they keep you quiet. They teach you how to keep yourself calm and, and react and, and stuff like that. So it's, it, it was really cool. Mm. And and did you continue practicing it after? Uh, no, I did karate when I was in Canada with him. Uh, he he would take me and I would do it for a while. And then when I left, when I came back here, I did nothing. <laughs> when I went to America, I, I love did, how you're so honest about yeah, that. Yeah, did nothing. I, when I went back to America, I did. <laughs> I it was did. an it was a hell of an adjustment when you came back. You know? The first time when I came back from Canada, it was only for two or three years. But I when think. you came back fully, full time, full time, yeah, it was a big adjustment. It was really hard. It was. Uh, I loved. I love Saudi. Uh, you know, when I was in America, I would look forward to the summer to coming to Saudi and go to the beach and do this. But when I moved back, I was used to the life where I would do so much. You know, like go out and do this and that and this and Activities that. And this and, yeah. yeah. Here, when you came back, it's 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 the beach, the jet skiing, the diving, and and then it's like, what else? I want to do something else. There's too much indoors. Yeah. Um, but alhamdulillah, now the country is changing and I'm, there's a lot more to do. I'm talking 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Now, now, no, no. It's, it's, it's getting a lot better. Quality of life has yeah, and, and which changed. Is a huge pillar on Division 2030. Yes, yes. Uh, with, with everything that's happening. There is, I mean, you have, you have the Americans coming here. Exactly, you know? exactly. Uh, you got boxing, <clears throat> wrestling, city walk, boulevard, Dude. everything. It's changing. And, and, and Jid is not even the epicenter for all the attractions and, and, and what's happening on the ground. You look at Riyadh, that city has reversed in the last decade. Yes. The people, yes. my friends who live there and your friends who live there do not recognize it. I know. For the better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Allah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Relax. Uh, I mean, in the, in the days that I came back now, it was, it was like, I got to a point where like, okay, what else do I do? What else? Even, even uh, the, the, the diving aspect it was, was a big, I used to free dive and spearfish. And then they, they, now it's illegal to spearfish. And then they took that out and I was like, oh man, I want to spearfish. 
So how deep have hard. you been free diving? My free diving limit was 32 meters. 32 meters. Yeah. So you're down for four, three minutes, three four. minutes and 26 seconds. Oh, I still so memorized wow. it. It was on my wow. sub to yeah, watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cousin of mine is big on spearfishing. Yeah. So they banned it now on Saudi shores. Yeah. Spearfishing is illegal. Yeah. It's, it's definitely part of the conservation of like it the is. Red Sea resorts, they're huge on preserving the, 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 the natural marine life. Of it. It's people that don't know how to do it. I mean, when I used to go down, I, I wasn't the type of person that shot at coral. You know, I would always look for fish to, to move out into the sand or into the, the, the water to, to shoot it. Yes, you get that one time where you get that magic inside that hole and you have to get it. But it was a, I miss it. I miss it. Those who do it absolutely love it. Yeah, it's like how paddle tennis. Those who play paddle tennis, they yeah. absolutely enjoy yeah. it. The, the, maybe even more so the spear fisherman. It's it's amazing. I remember the first time, the the person that uh, uh, convinced me to do it, he was like, "It's another world." I was like, "Man, the first time I put my eyes in the water, it, it was funny. I was I was scared out of my pants at a sharks. The idea of a shark in front of me was it's hell. Uh, that's probably the only thing that would have made me like run on top of water. Yeah." So that's your biggest fear? Yeah, at the time. At the time. Right on top of water. At the time, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. Tell me. I put my eyes in the water. The first thing I see is a shark. Okay. <laughs> Manifested. <laughs> and it was, a, it was just a reaction of mine. And I had a spear gun at the time. And I was like, screw this. Boom. Shot it. Shot it. Caught it. Barracuda? Uh, I've caught. Yeah, I've caught barracudas. I've caught sharks. I've caught. I've caught everything. But I eat everything. Even the shark my maid made, and my mom made it into soup, and we cut it into no fillets, way. and we cooked it. Yeah, as long as the shark is not too big, mm -hmm. it tastes amazing. This goes back to, you know, the comment that I mentioned earlier about where you don't waste whatever you 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 put on your table. You yeah. eat because you need, and even in spe in spear fishing, you don't do it for fun. No, no, you no. do it to eat it. The, the, the thing I like about spear fishing, I used to love fishing, fishing, but the thing about I like about spear fishing is you choose your fish. Yeah. So if you catch something with your hook, you might not like it. And if you catch it out of depth, it gets bloated and it's dead. The fish is done. It's not going to swim back yeah. down. So when you're spear fishing, you choose your fish. Mm -hmm. So when I go down there, I don't like that one. I don't like, I want this one. And I catch it and I go up. Yeah. It's amazing. It's, 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 it's fun and you're, you know, getting your own meals as well. It's very old school. It's, it's very exercise. It's fun. It's, it's, fun. it's adrenaline rush. It's Vitamin D. Everything. Yeah. Everything all together. I love it. I love it. Uh, more of a somber question. Who helped you in life when you were perhaps down or, or at your lowest? Does, uh, does someone come to mind? I mean, I have people around me that are, are always standing with me. I have a couple of friends like Sultan and, and Turki and Osama and my family, my mom and dad. Uh, but I've always been the type of person where if I'm falling or I'm, if something's happening to me, I like to pick myself up mm -hmm. to be stronger. I, I do get help from others, but I, I like to, to, to face things myself. I always learn from those situations. It's different when you experience it yourself than when, when someone helps you to get out of a hole. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you like time alone? Yes. Like an ideal day for you, would you rather just be... I, you know, I do it on the beach. Mm, I, I like people. I like the, I like I like to con talk. I like to have fun. I like to joke. Uh, some days, yeah, I like to turn on the TV, put on some movies, and just relax. No, not yeah. With your success that you've seen in life, did you feel that you've lost any friends all, along the way? If I lost, they're not really friends. Uh, to be honest, um, alhamdulillah, I've known people like from Canada and from America, and I'm, I'm in touch with a couple of them that are really my friends. So if I, if, if, if anyone exited my life, then they weren't really my friends. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Because it's normal for when someone who's, who either knows you or is close to you sees that you know you have something that they don't they start to distance themselves from you it's almost like they don't want you to be that crab that got out of uh the bucket i um, i speak from experience which is why i'm asking you uh, there are people around me that that may 
think that they're my friends. But I'm a nice guy, so so I'll treat them good. But deep down, they're, I don't really consider you as a friend. So even if they exited my life, I'm not really too affected by it. Yeah, it's a good way to approach it. Yeah. So you're never disappointed. No, I'm 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 true with everyone. I, I I give people the benefit of the doubt all the time, and I'll be nice once, twice, three times. I'm cool unless I see something that I really don't like. Then it's like, dude, mm-hmm. I don't need you in my life. Yeah. Something we don't know about you. It sounds like motherfucker. This is getting deep. <laughs> I'm a very open person. I mean, the only thing that that people didn't know about me found out about me last week and in, and in, in on Snapshot, which is I have a kid and I'm not married. People thought I was married and it just didn't work out. And was their reaction? Uh, were they going through the roof? Yeah. People are like, ah, you know, you were married. You, you got a kid, but how are you not married? I'm like, dude, it happens. It's cool. That's probably the only thing I've, I've kept a secret in my life. And it, I just, I, I don't know what my son, how my son would react to it when he grows up. He mm. could be soft-skinned. He could be like me. If he's like me, then I don't care. I'd let him enjoy it. But um, it got to a point where he's in my life a lot. So there's a lot of things I don't film. And I just don't want to miss out on it. So I was like, you know what? Let's see what happens. Do you try to do something with him, like an activity every day, every other day? How's the bond? He's, he's every day he's getting a little more like me, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Uh, he loves the jet ski. He loves to go down with me. So I take him every weekend jet skiing with me. Uh, he loves the beach, sand, water. What's his appetite like? <sighs> he, he's not too much like me there (laughs) no no to be honest uh he's he he he, he likes desserts anything that's sweet he's he's down donuts ice cream candies he's into candies all the time but as far as salty food he's 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 giving me a hard time Mm -hmm. it's either chicken nuggets or fatayr with cheese or (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> pizza, pizza pizza he loves pizza my son is is crazy about yeah, pizza yeah, yeah. he'll have it every day if he, he could he loves it he loves it but uh i try to get in the salad the fruits and stuff like that but he's That's on sweets he's, he's like me he loves the sweets yeah yeah i hope it's just not 60 donuts no 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 i don't want him to do um. that <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to taste food i'm cool with it but mm. what i do i would not if you don't got the talent or the time or the discipline, do not do what I do. Well, he's going to grow up in a world where he will be exposed to your videos. Yeah. But I'll never... Wow. Yeah. Um, if, uh, he might come up to you and say, Baba, yeah, you know, you did it. Uh, I want my 60 dollars. Go through some tests. Mm-hmm. This is how I did it, yeah? Yeah. You got to... Die it down first mm-hmm. and see if you you can actually do it. Because I'm not going to let you ruin your life or your health over a couple of donuts. Yeah. So if he if he's dip- disciplined enough to do what I do, then yalla, it's hard let's work. go. It's hard work. New channel. Yeah. <laughs> Business continuity plan. <laughs> would you change anything if you can go back in time? Uh, is there anything that you would want to do again? No. Content. Everything is uh, is a lesson learned, and everything is uh, makes you what you are today. I mean, yeah, you'd like to try things over, but if you did, you wouldn't be where you are. So uh, I like to look at everything where I failed, where I succeeded, where it's a lesson learned, and it and it, it makes your character today. So no regrets. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Anything that you have today that you really wanted when you were younger have mm. material wise doesn't you can answer the question any way you want something you dreamt about having as a child and you're like yes i got it today wow uh, that's a hard one i mean take your time a material wise i've always dreamt about having a, a certain type of car but i'm not very big on material things but once I got it, it's like, whatever. I, I've tried it, khalas. What was it? Uh, what was it? The car? Hmm. I'm a car guy, that's why. I just excuse the... Uh, Rose Rice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's almost every man's dream to have one. 
Once, I mean, you it, earned it, man. Yeah, the funny thing is, is, is for me, well, like material things. When I, when I, خلاص, I, I don't really need Scratch it. Scratch the itch. I mean, I've had it for for a year, and I've only had four thousand kilometers on it, so I don't really actually like ghost. Yeah, I don't really drive it too much or anything. But um, in life, I'm happy. I, I, I'm 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 happy with, and I can I can support everyone around me. Like before, before I couldn't. Like if my dad needed something or my mom needed something, I would be in a in a situation where it's like it's hard. Now I can help. You know, whenever they need me, I'm there. Do you do that? Who doesn't? A lot of people. Ah, uh, family comes first. Whoever doesn't recognize their family is not. I'm sorry. I think the sweetest story is when the child ends up helping his parents who raised him who did everything for him and then to give back like that especially when you become a father i mean you feel it i mean you're you're spending on your child and then you remember your parents and it's like damn they went through this and and listen my kid's small and i know what they've been through all my life so yeah no my my family comes first my dad put me first before everything i know i've seen it and i didn't feel it until i grew up So yeah, no, the, the, the alhamdulillah, and even when my dad got sick, I was worried about. Uh, in the beginning, we were worried about insurance, and I was like, no, you know, you can, we can take care of it. Don't worry about it. So alhamdulillah, the, the, the thing I'm happy about most is when people need me around them, I'm, I'm there. I can, I can provide. So it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Nothing like generosity. You can't teach that shit. It, it 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 depends on the person. It's not just generosity. It's like how do you how do you say it? I know it's not. It's it's the thing is that's what made me and Sultan closer together. Yeah, it's usul. What's that in English? It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> righteous. Uh, it's what you're supposed. It's you feel like it's 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 not mandatory. It's like you have to do it. Duty. Like it, it, me and Sultan, we're the same way about money. I, I don't. I alhamdulillah, I have, but no, yani. If I didn't, I'm still happy. Yeah. Right? For me and Sultan are the same way about money. We don't care. That's why you guys click. We just want to keep the people around us comfortable. Mm-hmm. And as long as they're good, we're cool. So that's the, that's the thing. If, if, if I had to give everything to him, I'd give it to him or my family. Which is, alhamdulillah. It's rare. Um, I, I don't want you to sit there and think that what you're doing is common practice. It's rare. We live in a world where it's me, me, me. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You got, I got my own problems, you got your own problems. True. Some True. of the wealthiest people are also the least generous. True. And some of those who are broke going on three, four credit cards maxed out, they'll pay for dinner. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's not common to be in a position where I want to make sure that everyone around me is comfortable. So... I'm honestly being I'm telling you that it's it's rare and it's and it's something that I really admire in you and Sultan Alhamdulillah it's, it's also the way we were raised up we've seen it yeah. يعني, so we act upon it and God is watching and he's inshallah inshallah, يعني, inshallah he sees how you give have you has anyone ever gotten poorer when they gave the more you give the more you get you don't think God's up there watching yeah true it's crazy true. Anna if someone Back in the day when there were actually beggars in traffic lights or when someone's now selling mangoes, at least now they're actually trying to sell something. I would give and then somehow, says two, three days later, something comes my way. And and then and maybe I remember, I'm like, oh, wow, I remember that guy came. So this, this, this read, this is true. I mean, this is, this is insane. It's happened to me a couple of times, but it's like you don't put it in your mind and then you're like, no, it's, yeah. Is it because I did it? Should I do more? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> nah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, people yeah. do what they can. I, I just, it's, uh, I don't like when people show it. Mm. Flaunt. Yeah. Oh. I did this or I did that. Nah, just keep it to yourself, man. <laughs> do it and keep quiet. It's tainted if, if you're showing, if, yeah. you, if you're telling people. Where you, um, trust, a big word in your uh, vocabulary. Has anyone ever broken your trust and what did you do after it? well you mentioned that actually with the restaurant guy oh that's nothing no i've been uh i always tell people when they ask me about my life i feel like i lived for a long time since i traveled so much and i've had to make 
new relationships everywhere I go and, and, and lose friends and make friends. And uh, I've had my trust broken a lot of times. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's really hard to gain my trust. But if you gain it, like, I'm, 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 you're everything to me, whether it's someone in my life or a friend or whatever. Even my, uh, Osama, my filmographer, for, for me to, uh, to actually employ him, I was watching him for a year behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I met him the first time, and then I just sat back and watched for a whole year. And then after he started working with me, it took a while for me to gain his trust. And then afterwards, we're, we're cool. We're, we're brothers. So Funny trust thing, is trust, hard. Man. It's hard. It takes a lack of reputation. You build it you know, for years and decades. Especially if you lose it with a lot of people throughout your life. It's, it's yeah. harder. It gets harder. Yeah. It's hard for it to go back to the way things were once it's broken. It's, it's not going to be the same. True. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a funny thing, man, trust. It is. Um, it's easier to give. And yeah. Easier to lose. Sah. You probably can't probably count on one hand how many people you trust, and, and me too, on one hand. I actually got that, I, I got that question answered today. <laughs> but it wasn't like as much as trust, but as much as people that you can like count on. And I literally told them, like, I can count them on one hand. Count them, yeah. Will they be there for me if something happens? Exactly. <clears throat> In the last couple of years, what have you been better at saying no to? I don't think food. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my humor sometimes. Uh, no, it's cool. It's horrific. cool. It's funny. Um, I'm not the type of person to say no. It's hard for me to say no. <laughs> If, if if I do say no, you know it just it's it's that like I I had to say it, mm -hmm. but I, I I don't remember the last time I had to say no. Are you impulsive? Uh, how? When? What? Six. Yes, um, let's go to <laughs> Athens for a couple of days. Yellow, let's go. Let's go. Let's fly tomorrow. Let's go. It's impulsive. Yeah, it's a good thing. When done rationally within reason. when rationally yeah like if you told me that and i had to film like next week i would be like no i can't uh there are priorities but um i'm like down for anything most of the time do you like exploring new places yes love it have you been to all the continents no but i had before corona i had this deal that was going to go down where i had 12 countries i was going to visit and it was going to be amazing and then corona came around and we had to stop it but I've been to Indonesia, I've been to Malaysia, Abu Dhabi, Urdun, Egypt, Lebanon. No, no, no. You, you need to go further. I know. You need to go to, I'm thinking South America, Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Brazil, um, Chile, Greece. Uh, Mexico, have you? Mexico, Mexico City, Baja. Culinary, culinary region. I want, my idea when I wanted to travel hmm. was to do street food sex style. Mm. Not just go try a couple of foods. I wanted to get the street and eat everything. From the whole bit. Yeah. Film it. Everything. Like it or not like it, just try everything. It's got to be. Please schedule that. Yeah. We'd lo I mean, the people would love to see that. Inshallah. Um, I want to do it. Because you, uh, you do it. You have a gift where you, you really do it so well. Um, mashallah, mashallah, like chahi. <laughs> you know, you sure you get it all the time. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, but I mean, going out and exploring new oceans, so South Africa. I would love to. They're I mean, huge on, on food. There's that one food I really want to try, man. I keep seeing it in TikTok. Uh, it's, it's South African also. It's that that doughy food. It's like it's like a dough, but it's very mushy. And they just dip it in, in their stew and their sauces and with the meat and they eat it. Um, I forgot the name. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This thing here? Yeah. But this is how they eat it. It's like with the stew and they Oh, it. okay. It is called a fufu. 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 Spongy dough from Africa that's I taken social media by storm. It. Yeah, I want to try that so fufu. bad. Fufu, my goodness. I don't know why. It just looks... I don't know why there's a surprise behind it. Like it looks simple, but I feel like when when people are eating it, I feel like there's a boom of taste with the stew and stuff. So yeah, I'm a I'm a type of person that likes to try. I mean, like Indonesia, love the food. Indonesia, love the food. I tried everything there, loved it. 
can you please also venture to Thailand? Because uh, I've gotten that. You've, you've done that? No, I've gotten you, uh, yeah. people. Yeah, big time. That's the, the Thai food. For me, I feel like it's the only cuisine where you don't have to add anything to it. No lemon, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. It just comes the way you're supposed to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, where else, man? Italy, you just can't go wrong. I visited Italy. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, there was a video that's supposed to come out. It was the first video I filmed. And I was on a cruise and I visited Italy. But the filming was so horrific. Oh. And it was my first time catching, holding a camera in my hand. First First time. First time ever in my life. Okay. And the filming was just horrific. And Typically the first time. Yeah. yeah and I couldn't edit it. It was just bad. I had this one restaurant where I was sitting and filming the pizza and eating it. And uh, <laughs> I think the camera like moved a little and I didn't realize. <laughs> so when I saw the footage, it was actually filming my feet. It was lowered. <laughs> making sure that's not the case on your close up. <laughs> And and the whole oh, footage God. was me eating and talking and looking at I don't know how I was looking at the camera not realizing it was pointing downwards. So <laughs> was like, More of a reason to go and do it again. Yeah, I don't know. Italy yeah. is it's amazing. Yeah, I'd it love is. to. It is. But it really is. I don't think there's a single bad restaurant there. It's just unbelievable. Pizza, 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 unbelievable. Pizza, pizza, Napoli. Pizza, pizza, pizza. pizza <sighs> spaghetti and uh, gelato. You'd show them some things if you go there. You? You would show them show them some things. <laughs> Have you been in an eating competition with some of the the, the 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 Japanese are big on it, the Americans? Have you done anything on a on on, on that level? No, no, no. Yeah. I wanted to, but it takes a lot out of your time to be to do competitions. I would have to at least train a month ahead of time, so I would have to cut out from YouTube and social media. Mm -hmm. So, it, I am big on competitive eating, but at the same time, I'm doing this. For a living now. So yeah. if, I, if I'm going to do competitive eating, I would have to stop everything. Doesn't make sense right now. Yeah. yeah. Remember that shit used to be on ESPN in the States. Yeah. Nathan's hot dog. I don't, yeah. Yeah. The hot dogs. The hot dogs. So well, it was a Japanese who was one no, of the No, no. The, uh, uh, what's his name? Chestnut. Chestnut. 75 or 77 hot dogs in 15 minutes, dude. dude. That guy is it's ridiculous. A beast. I remember water playing a big role in getting that thing down. Yeah. They, <laughs> yeah. It's the bread. The hot dogs go down. The bread is what uh, yeah, messes you they up. They dip huh? the bread so it gets soggy. Mm. But 75, man. 75. That's He's why number one. He's number one in the world. I think uh, Matt Stoney is second or third mm. to him. Mm. That's why you keep the fries till the end whenever you're eating something fries related. Yeah. And then they're cold and then... And then it's worse. Yeah, it's worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like... What do you do? You know, it's I mean, when I do f fast, like when I when I'm trying to be fast when I eat mm -hmm. and in competitions or, or or challenges, I always take the bread out and eat the meat, and then just keep the bread at the end and just. I don't know. So your body doesn't re register that. Yeah, yeah. Try to devour it. Um, is something you, someone you'd like food related, someone you'd like to have dinner with, dead or alive. Alive. Hmm. Let's go at it, The Rock. <laughs> Let's have a cheat meal together. <laughs> One of my challenges were, was was his cheat meal. Um, that would be a, a fun thing to do. But he's charismatic. He's he's everything. He's everything. Awesome. Yeah, he's awesome, and he's very humble with, with with his fans. From what I see, he is. He is. Yeah, and he's just a beast, Yanni. I can see why he's your idol. Yeah. Uh fil uh, fil gym. Yeah, that's a good one. That 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 would be on the fun side. Yeah, but if it's food related, I would say Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. I want to see where the hype is. Have you met him? Never. I think he did Saudi, by the way, recently. Really? Yeah, I think he came in for something. He did come in. He did come in. I think it was about two years ago. Could have been the F one, the second F one. I didn't mean yeah. it. Yeah, I would like. I would like to do a, do 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 maybe like. A take of him with a sheep or something on his style, you know. Like I want his, I want him to cook me something. Yeah, crazy. With um, with a Saudi twist to it, yeah. almost. Not even Saudi. Just I want him to go crazy. Not something out of the, the mm -hmm. ordinary. Like if I gave him a sheep, I want him to do it his way. Yeah, yeah. Show yeah. me what you got. Yeah, yeah. I want to try something new. Dead. You can't beat that. Yes, for me, like if you were to ask. Me, you know, 
last meal of my life, or that's too depressing. Something I'd want to eat every day for the rest of my life. I had to eat one thing, sahan mendi for me. The, the, goat, the goat and rice with the cucumber yogurt and the dugus. There are a couple of great establishments in town. Have you to, done? Have you done it with the with the honey or not? The I'm a huge meat, sheep, goat guy. Honey and it, I'll, for you, I'll try it again. I did it a few times. It didn't click with me. With what? Asikh, lahm, kharuf. Mashwi? Mash- no, the asikh one. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the slow roast, three hours roasted slower. gammar. Yes, the whole bit. You didn't like the it. The one that you ate on your own, not with honey. The sweet and savory didn't click with me, and, and I'm a. I'm a foodie man, like uh, interesting. I just it didn't with the rice, the texture of the meat. No, the rice, no the honey, don't eat it with the rice. Without just the, the meat, rice. just the meat. Just it just felt like I was get it was the skin sinful. Get the skin and the meat. The skin and the meat with the, okay. For you, I will give it another shot. It's amazing. It's amazing. I loved it. But, and uh, to be surprised, the the last challenge we did at eight million was with a camel, and we were probably the first people to do it on the sikh. Oh, no way. No one's okay. done it before. So we did the camel, and the guys that did it for us did an amazing job. They cooked it for nine hours. Nine hours. It was, I didn't think we can top the sheep. Okay. And the camel was amazing. Hashi. It was, I don't want to say like three times, four times better than the sheep, but it was good. Really? Good. I had camel And once. it was it was funny because me and Basil were sitting, me and him are really big meat lovers. Basil the Jordanian. Yeah. Yeah. He's a and, legend. And he was next to me. Yeah. So the first bite, me and him, this is the first time we try it. So we take the first bite and we eat it. And we both look at each other like we were not expecting this. It was a hit. It was good. It was amazing. And with the honey and everything, it was. Could you tell better. that it wasn't goat? Could you tell that it was something different? If, uh, if for someone, me, yeah, you knew. Yeah, yeah, for me, yeah. I've I've tried like when I started my food experience, there was a lot of things I couldn't tell the difference of. Okay. But now, no. Now you give me a burger, I can tell you what kind of meat mm. it is. Yeah, like whether it's Angus, Angus Wagyu, yeah, well, or just normal beef, or. I guess when you go through as many as you did, you can. Yes. Probably tell if it's New Zealand yes. or Australian. <laughs> and if you if you if you see how many times I've done food tests for my restaurant, you'd know. Of course. Sultan tried to cheat me out of a couple of things and <laughs> it didn't work. He out. fell into the yeah, trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who's he bullshitting? <laughs> um happy with your accomplishments so far in life? Yes. I wanna do more. What's more? Same industry. I, same industry and other stuff also. I want to branch out as far as, um, like you said, like I don't want to keep it as just food competition. I want to try, I want to show people the world uh, through food. And at the same time, I want, I, want, I want a Guinness world record. I have one, but I, it wasn't me eating. It was the largest Sayyidi in the world. I want one where I break a record myself. Any idea what that would be when it is and inshallah i believe it will be what would it be in uh, i've i've looked into it there's a lot of things uh i think i can do but it's it's more speed related than speed than, yeah so i would have to train for it if it was quantity it would be easier you're a marathonist not a sprint exactly yeah i'm fast i'm fast i've uh, with matt stoney i've done a couple of challenges where i tried to do, to beat him and i'm off by a minute or two oh so i'm i'm fast okay. uh considered he's the second in the world or so, but I, I, I'm more That's big impressive. on, yeah, That's really impressive. I mean, the last thing I did, uh, I got fooled into it. <laughs> the last one I did was a uh, teddy bear. It didn't go down. It was this big jelly bear, jelly teddy bear. It was five pounds, 6,000 mm-hmm. calories. He did it in 10 minutes on the dot. When I got mine, I was scared it was going to melt. So I kept it in a cold, cold place. So when I took it out of the pack, I don't like to make excuses, but... I, c- I took it out of the package and I felt like it was hard. Okay. So when I started the challenge, I was like, oh crap, it was it's hard. too cold. So it was really like sticky and I was chewing. It took me about 16 minutes to get it. 16. 16. I finished and my jaw was like this <laughs> from chewing. And, and at the end, I just had to swallow. I started drinking water and Workout. swallowing it. Yeah. But uh, the, the closest one, I think it was the Rice Krispie, the, the huge Rice Krispie. I was off by a minute. Yeah. 
That's impressive, man. Impressive stuff. Yeah. But I do a marathon more and more. more. Give me quantity. Yeah, yeah. Give that's where quantity. you really... The, the burger in Dubai wasn't, some, wasn't memorable because that looked like a mission for you. Which one? The big boy, big, big burger. Oh, oh, the last one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a... Uh, that looked like work. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, was a lot of food to get through. That was... Uh, Sorry, man. I didn't think you were going to get through it. I, th- I thought that it's just... You were, you, were, you were struggling. I had to stop for 10 minutes. And uh, I've never seen you struggle like that. Uh, you want to know what, who was behind the camera? Mm-hmm. There was a doctor there. Mm-hmm. His wife told him about me. They were eating at the restaurant and we were getting the challenge prepared. So this doctor was like, it's humanly impossible to eat this. And he looked at his wife. He's like, if he's doing this challenge, you go home and I'm going to sit through this. I want to see this go through. So that put me in stubborn mode. And I was like, all right, let's that prove got, this. That, that made you get through it. Uh, I was going to get through it, get through it, but it was going to take me a lot longer. Okay. But I basically looked at him and I was like, let me show you. Uh, Sultan took a couple of bites. This guy took a couple of bites, but it's it was still, nothing. it's nothing. One percent off. Nothing. But um, the, the hardest part was the cheese, man. The cheese sauce. It just got disgusting after a while. <laughs> the burger was good in the beginning, but the che- the, how much cheese he dumped onto Overkill. it. Overkill. It just, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't like that melted cheese. Like, give me real cheese. I'm cool. I don't like that melted cheese stuff. Oh, fuck that. Like yeah. American cheese that you have on your burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a thousand pieces on it. I'm cool. Yeah. So this doctor just sat there the whole time. He was grilling me. And I was like, all right. What was he saying? He was like, it's humanly impossible he, to do while this. While you were right? eating, he was yeah, saying yeah. that? Yeah, He's like, I don't believe it. You're not going to finish. It's like, like taunting. Gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool. I love it. You needed that. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I love when someone tells me you can't do it. I love it. I'll do it until I fail. I could see that you thrive off that. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 the, the, the or yeah, the thinking that you won't get through it is what makes you get through it. It's funny, uh, even even some of the my filmographer, he doesn't know me that long, but he's he's realized that about me. He's like even though I don't do big challenges all the time, uh, people come up to him and ask him, and, and oh, he doesn't eat like before. He's like, sit down and challenge Hussein and see what happens. Mm. And it's like, you're done. So, alhamdulillah, I got that, and I'm very competitive. I think it's a superpower. <laughs> you know? It's it's not everyone. To be honest, I tell a lot of people, not everyone can do it, because yeah. it, there's a point where you get, your brain tells you to stop. You've had enough. You're You're in pain. You can't continue. So you just have to block that out and just keep going, keep going. Because people don't go to that level. Yeah. It's like you have unlocked something happened that has unlocked that level for you. Um, where you go when, pe- when, when an, an excellent eater would say, I am done, not another thing. You can go a bit further. Exactly. Um, and and it's, it's a skill, dude. Like it's, it's a God-given talent. It is. It is. Uh, mashallah, I'm, I'm glad that today, you know, it's, um, it's your livelihood and you've managed to uh, touch a lot of people in so many different ways, like the story of the kid. Honestly, that's really that really touched me, and um, and you're happy doing it. You know, for the most part, I know social media is a bitch, <laughs> um, and you know what? Whether you like it or not, you are an ambassador for the country. Alhamdulillah. When you go to these places, you 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 come with with the Saudi uh, background, so everyone's like, ah, uh, oh, Hassan, the Saudi guy, the Saudi guy. So you represent Saudi in a very lovely, lovely way. Yeah. I was, I was, uh, I did Guinness on that. Like, I wanted to bring that home. I wanted to, you know, Saudi did it. And even when I did the bodybuilding competition. I was just going to say Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. did it uh, as a Saudi. Saudi. I was like, so yeah. all that, alhamdulillah. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for this talk. It was really, honestly, one of my favorites. Thank you very um, much. Because as I said before we started, like uh, I'm actually genuinely interested in the answers to every question. I mean, I worked on it pretty hard. <laughs> and thank you for not sparing any details. Uh, Blacks. So. And Hassan is the kind of guy um, who doesn't want to see questions beforehand. He told me that he yeah. wants my reaction to be real and authentic. And everything you guys heard today was just answering it right off the bat. And, uh, and he answered every question. <laughs> Relax. I'm, I always tell people, they, they always think you're hiding something. I'm like, dude, I'm an w- open book. If you're filming your life, halas, there's nothing else to hide. No. So, yeah, no. It's, it's exhausting cool. if you have to hide. 
It is. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say it was a burden, but it was, it was, it was heavy on me when I was hiding my kid all the time. So sometimes, yeah. like, when I'm filming and he's screaming, I have to repeat the snaps. And yeah. I don't like repeating. If I make a mistake during a snap, I'm, I'm uploading it. I don't care. Yeah. I'll fix my mistake, but I'm saying it. So yeah. Yeah. it's very authentic. Yeah. Of you. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. All the best, man. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It was, it was great. Yeah, it's it really, a, it's really first good. experience on a podcast. Yeah, amazing. The, you didn't bring me any food. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I said I'm not going to give you more of what you are probably sick and tired of eating all the time. And it's probably not your cheat day. But um, at least something for us to do next time you come across. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, you. Really Thank, you man. Thank you. Thanks, my Thank brother. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.